When it comes to the forehand, the most overrated advice, the most overrated swing thought is to be loose. I'm here to tell you that being loose is not really what it's all made out to be. Sure, it's a pretty easy way of feeling like you can move the racket freely. So if you just dangle your arms about and you're super loose, you will create lag and you'll probably connect with a few that really fly. And you're like, wow, felt, felt pretty good. But we really don't want to create a lag from being loose. And usually that's what people are trying to do. They're trying to get into this position where that racket lays back and it whips through, trying to get that kind of slingshot forehand. But again, you don't really want to go about it in that way. So what I want you to do, get your take back, you can have your own unique take back, but be relaxed, but not too loose, right? I'm not gripping tight, I'm not in any funky positions, I'm just taking that racket back. But as we lower the racket to get it beneath the tennis ball, and we move our body and supinate the arm, I want this to be pretty stable. I don't want it to be necessarily super tight, but I want it to feel connected. Because it's easy to dangle your arms about, have the body move and the racket come second. If you're not doing that, or if you struggle to do it, probably for a good reason. You probably could do this, but you probably couldn't hit a clean shot, and neither could I. So what I really want your swing thought to be is rotate your body, because if you're in this position, you need to move your body to hit the tennis ball. So you're always gonna try and move your body and certainly your arm towards the tennis ball. And as we do this, this all happens at the same time. So it's not this left behind lag where the last thing to come is the tennis racket. You wanna feel like you move your body, the arm pulls in, butt cap of the racket is gonna face your opponent at the same time as you rotate your body. And this is one movement. Now at this stage, I've not hit the ball yet. So we get chance to do this together, but then continue the arm through the contact point. And that's where you're gonna end up with the lag you're looking for, but you're doing it in a very control structured way that gives you a little bit more stability and a little bit more control of your body, the racket, and ultimately the tennis ball. If you like that, I highly recommend checking out this video next, or you can browse through my playlist and uh, see what tickles your fancy.